Welcome back to the broadcast. We are in the side dish kitchen now with Chef Suki. Am I saying it right? Yes. <laughs> From the House of Blues. And did you know that the House of Blues isn't just about music? They have some fantastic food there. And Sookie's going to show us something to uh, something that you serve up there, which already I'm salivating over these See, tacos. See, Lisa and I have already skipped to this part. Right. <laughs> the end product. We're already eyeing it over We're there. We're already eyeing but it. But this is something that you can actually make at home pretty easily. So this is great. We have a couple varieties of street tacos on our menu that was actually created by Aron Sanchez. So he came in and really revitalized our menu, which has yeah. been awesome. And that's what I was just telling Lisa, the food there is pretty incredible, you know? Because people think of it for the music, but the food is delicious. Well, and it's part of the whole experience, <laughs> right. which is fun. You know, you come in, you get some great food, you go to the show, the drinks, I mean, you can't really go wrong. Yeah. So what do you marinate the, the beef in? So we take skirt steak and we marinate it in a citrus marinade to really bring out some of that flavor. You don't, it's such good meat that you don't really want to add too much to it, but mm. you get some great flavor. And then you can either grill it or pan sear it, and you get that nice crust on the outside and cook it up to medium. Okay. And then once you do that, you just kind of dice it up and, and build it into your tacos. The great wow. thing is you can put anything really in them. We do a grilled fish, um, blackened chicken, and then we also have our bay shrimp, which I'm going to show you as well. Mm. So we take these tender little bay shrimp and season them with a little adobo seasoning which is... See, you got to have the Old Bay seasoning. Or the Old Bay, that uh -huh. works as well. You have the Old Bay seasoning. Get a little black the same, the same is, thing, like a yeah, black Yeah, it is really spice. similar. Okay. And that's what we do, is you want to get your pan warm enough that it creates that crust on the outside. Oh, okay. yummy. I love shrimp because they cook so quickly. And they're easy. It's so, you know, don't be intimidated because it's so simple. See, I get intimidated by cooking. Do you? That, oh, yes. Yeah, really? that's, and that's why I laugh every time I get in the food segment. I'm like, is this a conspiracy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Emmett's calling going, hey, could you get her in the kitchen <laughs> to learn how to make these <laughs> segments? I'm like, no. We'll get some hands-on demos This is easy for you. stuff, though, and this is kind of fun stuff to do with kids, too, because you've got lots of ingredients, and then they can make their own. We do, um, at my house, we'll do, like, taco night, where fun. I'll do the same. Not, not quite this good. I use, like, ground beef because it's easier, but, um, you know, and then the kids can make up their own. Things. They're a little kind of fun. With the See, that's what, you get all the little mix-ins. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's to build your own. So that's let's talk about perfect. the sides because really that's kind of what makes a great taco with all the good stuff we put mm -hmm. on it. Salsas and yes. So what we do is we put a little fresh cabbage for that nice crunch. Okay. And then we make a roasted tomatillo salsa, which is just tomatillos with onions and garlic, mm. and you just roast it and bring out all that flavor and then puree it together. Wow. And then a little fresh pico on top and some cochija cheese, which is oh. um, it's a Mexican cheese, but it's it's similar to a feta. So mm. It's got a little. Oh. It's kind of mild. It is. Okay. Yeah. But no avocados. No we avocado? actually do an avocado cream on top. Oh, so that's take, what that is. Yeah, we take a sour cream and mix in some fresh avocados and a little bit of our tomatillo salsa and a little lime juice. So okay. it has that buttery finish. I'm gonna put a little ranch we, dressing on mine. Can we taste it? There you go. <laughs> Jeannie, you're still here. Do you want to come in oh and taste? God. Come on over taste. here and taste a taco. Uh, so <laughs> I'll take that thing in. <laughs> Oh, take one of these. There oh. you go. Help oh, yourself. This is our favorite part on right. Fridays. Do I have to share or is this mine? You get one oh, for you. And is this my plate or do you have a napkin? Oh, we, we don't can. use plates around here. You don't need them. <laughs> 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 there you go. There you go. Oh, I'll hold it avocado thing on top. Look at that. I love it. Get a little lime in there. Oh, 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 you need some lime? Okay. When you're sick, oh, no lime on mine. How big can you open your mouth on TV? Just go for it. Just go for it. Want me to speak for you? <laughs> Check out the House of Blues in Dallas on the corner of Lamar and Houston by Victory Park. They're online at thehouseofblues.com slash Dallas. Now that we've got something to eat, like we're all eating over here.